The 66 books of the Bible are traditionally divided into two main sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Here's a rundown of the books in the order typically found in Protestant Bibles. Old Testament 1, Genesis 2, Exodus 3, Leviticus 4, Numbers 5, Deuteronomy 6, Joshua 7, Judges 8, Ruth 9, 1 Samuel 10, 2 Samuel 11, 1 Kings 12, 2 Kings 13, 1 Chronicles 14, 2 Chronicles 15, Ezra 16, Nehemiah 17, Esther 18, Job 19, Psalms 20, Proverbs 21, Ecclesiastes 22, Song of Solomon 23, Isaiah 24, Jeremiah 25, Lamentations 26, Ezekiel 27, Daniel 28, Hosea 29, Joel 30, Amos 31, Obadiah 32, Jonah 33, Micah 34, Nahum 35, Habakkuk 36, Zephaniah 37, Haggai 38, Zechariah 39, Malachi New Testament 1, Matthew 2, Mark 3, Luke 4, John 5, Acts, Acts of the Apostles 6, Romans 7, 1 Corinthians 8, 2 Corinthians 9, Galatians 10, Ephesians 11, Philippians 12, Colossians 13, 1 Thessalonians 14, 2 Thessalonians 15, 1 Timothy 16, 2 Timothy 17, Titus 18, Philemon 19, Hebrews 20, James 21, 1 Peter 22, 2 Peter 23, 1 John 24, 2 John 25, 3 John 26, Jude 27, Revelation. Keep in mind this list corresponds to what you'll find in a typical Protestant Bible. The Catholic Bible includes additional books known as the Apocrypha, which are not part of the Protestant canon. Those books add a bit more depth to the history and the context of the times during which the narratives occur. Understanding these books, whether through reading, study, or listening to them in audio format while resting under the green shades of Portland's famous parks, can offer insights into ancient wisdom, traditions, and the underpinnings of Western civilization's values and moral frameworks. Each book contributes to the overall tapestry of the biblical narrative, offering a blend of historical records, poetry, prophecies, and teachings vital to Judeo-Christian beliefs.